Hi, Heather again from Tay Township Public Library, Victoria Harbour Branch. Thank you for joining us for another Tay Township Public Library craft. And today we're going to be making the cinnamon trees with buttons and Santa's magic key. Now the story about the Santa's magic key is that these keys come from the North Pole and they only work for Santa. So they're for when your house doesn't have a chimney, you put it on your front doorknob and then he can get in to deliver the presents. So we're gonna go ahead and make these together. We're gonna make the Santa's magic key first and then the cinnamon tree. All right, so get all your materials together and come back for the next step. To make our Santa's magic key ornament, uh, I do have a glue gun. You only need the glue gun if your bark on the outside of your wood round is starting to fall off. This one is letting go a little bit, so I was just gonna put a couple dabs of hot glue to secure that. So while that's warming up, the first thing you're going to do is weed your vinyl square. So if you hold it to the light, the right way you can see we've cut into the vinyl Santa's magic key I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but when you see an edge what you're going to do is take off all the extra vinyl leaving behind the lettering so you want to leave that lettering behind so if you go now you can use a couple tools to help you I got a paper clip to try and grab an edge as well as a pair of tweezers to try and lift it off because it can get a little tricky so this is the the tricky part you can see that little white line so this bottom below the white line is my letter for s for santa and above that is the extra vinyl so i'm going to just stretch out this paper clip a little bit and usually you're when you have a cricket it comes with tools to do this so this is the trickiest part of the ornament so there we go and now that i've got it lifted i can use my tweezers to try and pull that extra part of vinyl off so just make sure you hold the letter with your thumb and it is very sticky because it's going to stick too so there it goes and it's lifting off there too so hold and it, once you start pulling you can start to see the letters the tricky part and especially because it's foil there we go if you do it too fast you'll end up losing a letter so there it goes and because it's sparkle sometimes the letters don't cut all the way through so there's the s for santa and then let's work on the a and then just carefully Hold up my N a little bit too. So if you after we made this video, we switched the vinyl to an easier to work with vinyl that doesn't have the sparkles in it. So yours should be a lot easier to weed than Heather had in the video and we also changed the font so it doesn't have so many little corners and edges but please take your time if you you don't want to lose the apostrophe and the dot on the eye and and then you have to take your tweezers and take out the extra little pieces that show up in the g and the a's and the e's Ta -da! santa's magic key oh i forgot we have to now you can use this for stickers for another project if you want. You can cut different things and just stick it on. It's permanent vinyl, so whatever you stick it to will be there for a long time. All right, so we've got Santa's magic key. Now we just need to take the centers out of the A's and the G and the E down there, which is going to be tricky too. So again, if you kind of fold it, you can just kind of pick them off or use your tweezers. Just don't want to pull off the whole letter because they'll, they'll be crooked. There's the A. Okay. 
If it pops off, just restick it. Okay. My C got a little crooked, but that's okay. Now that's just the two A's and Santa. And you know what? If your letters are a little bit crooked, it just adds to the whimsy of the, the ornament. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's still going to look cute. All right, so there's Santa's magic key. My hot glue should be warm. I'm just going to fix this little dab here, and you can do this at home if yours got tossed around in the kit bag a bit and you're afraid of losing it. Oops, get my sticker out of the way. We're also going to Mod Podge after, so that should help the bark stay on. There we go. Or if yours don't have bark, we ordered, we got these from a couple different places. So there, that's done. My glue gun out of the way. The next part is this piece of paper that's blank is your transfer paper. So go ahead and peel this off. And then you're gonna stick this on top of your Santa's magic key. It's gonna lift the stickers off and then you're gonna stick it on top of your wooden circle so that you can lift all the letters off straight and you can see it through. So there we go. So make sure you give that a really good rub. You could also use a credit card or something like my paintbrush here to make sure it's nice and rubbed on. And then you're gonna peel it off. Oops, it didn't pick them up. Funny thing. So make sure it's really good and stuck and rubbed on there. Trippy decided to go with it. So there you can see Santa's magic key. And my letters got a little crooked, but like I said, that just adds to the whimsy. Now pay attention to where your hole is for your ornament. You don't want to stick your letters over top of that. And then just position it on your circle like that. See, so you can see my hole is up there, so it's not covering the hole. And then just now you're gonna, gonna rub this really well. We know those letters are sticky. And then you can peel your transfer paper off and they will be stuck to your wood circle. That was the easy part. So no, I don't know about you, but when I make ornaments like this, I always like to rate the year on it somewhere. So I thought on the back we could do a nice 2020. You can do it in one of the rings or you can do it big across the back or you can write your name on it. So I'm going to do a nice 2020 right like that. And maybe an H up here for Heather. Okay. So now we're going to flip it back over and we're going to Mod Podge it. So to make sure that the sticker doesn't come off. So just do a nice thin coat over the whole front and then let that dry and do the back. And then just make sure you wash your paintbrush after. Okay, so let that dry, do the back, and then come back and we'll finish off. So the last step, once your Mod Podge is all dry, and I did put a layer on the outside on the bark, on the back, and definitely on the front so that those stickers don't come up after all that hard work. And then you're just going to put your little piece of jute through the hole, or ribbon if you want to use a colorful ribbon. Put that through, and then you're going to take your key and hopefully I can thread this through. You might have to twist it a little bit. The magic key right from the North Pole is going to go on the string too. Might have to fight with it a little bit to get it through the hole. There we go.
and then you just tie a knot and then you can hang it on the tree until Christmas Eve and then you move it to the front door so that Santa can find his way in. So we'll just tie this in a knot. Sorry if my hands were in the way. Then you can trim the extra frizzy bits from the key off. So there we go. We have Santa's magic key. <laughs> now we're going to make our cinnamon Christmas tree ornament. So in your kit, you've got a piece of red thread, four pieces of cinnamon, a piece of yellow cardstock, there's yellow, and some buttons. So what you we're going to do first, and you're going to need mom or dad's help if you're a little younger for this craft, to cut the cinnamon sticks to the right length. So first you're going to take all four and pick your favorite to be the tree trunk or the longest one. So I think I'm going to use uh, this this one for my tree trunk. And then we need to do three different lengths, the longest being at the bottom, so we can leave that one as the longest. And you're going to glue them on top like this. So we need to take, I think we'll make this one a little bit shorter, and then this one at the top will be the shortest. We can probably cut a centimeter off the end. Now, let's take these and mark them. So we're gonna leave this one this one we want to cut just a little bit off the end to make it a bit shorter so that you make like a triangle shape and then this one a little bit shorter than the middle one so we'll cut it about here so we're going to cut these two we'll put this one off to the side so now to cut your cinnamon sticks you're going to very carefully score it on all the sides so you're going to use a serrated knife like this one like a steak knife and then you're going to score it all the way around on your pencil line so you kind of turn it and saw back and forth if you try to cut through or use too much pressure it'll break and you won't get your clean cut on the edge so just rotate it like that and saw through and then it'll just break off nice and easily and when you're doing this it's gonna smell amazing because you're making some cinnamon crumbs or ground cinnamon. And it'll smell more like Christmas. So once you've gone around once or twice, you can, see I didn't go quite through on that one enough, so. You can see I've got a score line and you can go on the edge of a table if you've got a countertop that's got a good edge or on the edge of your cutting board. But when it's ready, when you hold it close to the break point, you should be able to just break it off. So I'm gonna go around a little bit more. break this should break so just make sure you hold it close to the break point so I got half off and the other half so there we go so now we're gonna do the same thing on the other one there's my pencil line right there this one's a little bit smaller so it should be a little bit easier <laughs> you hear me sawing this one So you're just lightly scoring it all the way around. Oh, my cinnamon's rolling away. Okay, and you hold it close and it breaks. Not too bad. All right, so let's put my cutting, well, we can glue on the cutting board. So I think this one was my trunk like this, and you can put it either way. And then the first, so that's my little one. How do those end up almost the same? But that's okay. So it's gonna be separate like this. 
I think I'm gonna actually make this guy a little bit shorter. There we go. Okay, so next we're gonna use our hot glue gun. Put a little dab, you wanna do it up from the bottom a little bit so it's got a little bit of a chunk. And put our first one on there. And then a little bit higher. Put your middle one. And then close to the top, you put your top one. Just like that. And then while that's cooling off, you wanna make your star topper. So you're gonna take your piece of cardstock and cut it into a star. So on the back side, you can draw your star. That looks about good. And then cut it out. <laughs> There's my, my wonky star. <laughs> And then that's gonna go at the top of your tree here. Oh, we, we have to put our thread on too. That's your Christmas to hang it on the tree. So I'm gonna take this first and knot it so it has something to glue on to. So let's take that and stick that to our top of our tree. Put a little glue there. And then you can stick your star on top of that. Perfect. And now the last part is to decorate your tree with these all these little buttons. I'm going to put red one there, green one, And you can alternate them. Whoops, I got little hot glue strings all over this. <laughs> you just pull those off after. How many do I got left here? Put a little green one over here. And there you go. You have your decorated cinnamon stick Christmas tree. How cute is that? Thank you again for joining us for another Tay Township Public Library craft. And remember to share your photos with library at tay.ca. Email us those photos or you can tag us on Facebook on Tay Township PL. And there you go. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.